I'm uh, Dr. Shibun Agarwal, I'm a specialist plastic surgeon uh, and I work at the SAN RPA in Prince of Wales uh, and one of my core interests is breast reconstruction. So using your own tissue is, uh, is also called free flap surgery uh, where we take a block of tissue from somewhere in the body uh, and basically use the blood supply from that area, disconnect it and reconnect it in the chest. Uh, so it's talking more about where we can take the tissue from. Uh, the most common side is from the tummy. So we take everything uh, from the belly button down to the pubic hairline and out to the hip bones. And that's a block of tissue that we would normally, you know, discard in like a, in a tummy tuck procedure. But what a great chance in a woman with a breast cancer to use that tissue for something. Um, now we can't just use skin and fat and just transfer it to the chest and expect it to survive. We use that, we have to have a blood supply. And the blood supply travels through the rectus muscle, which is the six pack muscle that lives on either side. Um, now, traditionally, plastic surgeons used to take the entire muscle because we knew somewhere in the middle of that were the blood vessels keeping our block of tissue alive. And once you took the skin, fat, and the muscle, you took, disconnected the blood supply in the groin, and you reconnected everything in the chest, and, that, and that's what we still do today. The deep flap is just advancing that concept a bit more. Um, so for women who had breast cancer on both sides, or they had it on one side, but they didn't want to keep the other breast because they were worried about another diagnosis down the track, will often come to us and say, actually, I'm going to have a reconstruction on both sides. Now, in those women, I think it's pretty key not to damage the muscle on both sides or minimize the damage on both sides of their tummy. Um, so what I try and do almost every time is to try and just take out the blood vessels that are necessary. And so it's still skin and fat, but the muscle you're trying to leave behind. And you just take out the blood vessels, and that's called the Dieppe flap. But the concept is the same. So we disconnect the blood supply in the groin and we reconnect it in the chest and the tissue is living again. So it's a small technical difference. Um, if we do have to, if I do have to take muscle, I don't say I don't take it all the time, but I take it, um, a, a small part of it if I need to, to keep the blood supply intact. I never take the entire muscle. And I still think that that's a significantly better operation than just having to damage the entire muscle. Um, and women are quite thankful that then their tummy has been respected uh, we've minimised the damage to that area, we've made it look excellent and we've then restored their chest or made one or two breasts that feel like their own, they'll grow with them, so if they put on weight, they'll put on weight, if they lose weight, they'll lose weight. Um, and I think the real, real benefit is that long term, you know, once they go through this operation and they might opt to have a nipple reconstruction or something, but once that's done, they're done. They don't, you know, if they don't chose never to come back to see me, hopefully not, but if they didn't, that's fine. They can go on and live their life. You know, I don't need to see them every year to check on their implant. I don't need to replace it every 10 to 15 years. And so I'd even argue that the younger the patient, the more I probably even push them in that direction because the younger patient will, might need to have an implant changed every 10 to 15 years. So if you're in your 30s or 40s, you can imagine you've just brought into a lifetime of implant changes. And if you didn't have to do that, if you could just have your own tissue that was permanent, you go and live your life just the way you wanted to. If you didn't want to see any surgeons, fair enough.